Esto fue lo que pasó en la conferencia de prensa donde el equipo de LAFC el día de hoy presentó su nuevo logo. Estamos a dos años para que este equipo debute en la MLS. Para muchos el tiempo va a pasar rápido, pero en el mes de mayo va a ser cuando eh, voten en el Sports Arena y ahí va a ser donde se va a construir el nuevo estadio para este equipo que va a debutar en el 2018. Mexico will not be able to come with most of the European players, but we will be able to come with Rafael Marquez, Joan Los Santos, and Erwin Osano. Eisen will play this game without the European players too. They will not be able to play with that team that made it to the quarterfinals in the Euro Cup. The game will begin at 7 o'clock and great atmosphere by the Mexican crowd. El cuadro de los Ángeles Galaxy perdió en su último partido de preto para ante el equipo de Portland Timbers por 2 a 1. El equipo de Portland ganaba con dos goles de Fernando Ari, pero sobre el final, Daniel Story descontó para el equipo galáctico. El equipo de Galaxy inicia la temporada el próximo medio sábado en casa ante el equipo de Dallas FC. En este complex de uh, Sagas, tres swimmers están listos para los Olympics en Rio de Janeiro. They are for Colombia, they are for Mexico and the United States. They're very excited and anxious that the Olympics are about to begin in less than 30 days. Todo listo para el partido de mañana entre la selección de Caerá y México. Se rumora que va a haber, van a haber más de 55 mil aficionados aquí en ese estadio BC Place donde la selección de Estados Unidos de Mujeres el año pasado se coronó. Some countries know how to cook, but lazy they prevents them from doing so. If they need how to cook, they'll be eating this delicious taco. El próximo partido de la selección colombiana va a ser el día martes en el Rose Bowl de Pasadena ante la selección de Paraguay. Estados Unidos jugará el día martes también en el estadio Soldier Field ante la selección de Costa Rica. Something that Los Angeles should be proud of these vendors. Most of the people are from Guatemala, El Salvador, Nicaragua, and Honduras. It does feel like Central America for some. What does Manny Pacquiao represent for you? What, what does he mean for you? Well, first of all, he's a good friend. He's a great person, great humanitarian. And he's a great fighter, so he means everything. I mean, I think that he is a good example, a good role model for other athletes. Hola, amigo de Foque Deportivo. Estamos con Mia Ham. Mia, what do you think about the new team's logo? I think it's awesome. I, I, I love it. I think it represents the city. I think it's inclusive. I think it's diverse. And um, the colors, the logo can stand on its own. And uh, it's something that people are going to want to wear. Hola, ¿qué tal, amigos de Foco Deportivo? Estamos con Don Garber. Don, two more years and LAFC. What do you think about this? I think it's very exciting. You know, here you have you already have the black and gold supporters out. You've got a brand new state of the art stadium. Uh, we've got, you know, two years to go. We already have a Bank of California becoming the naming rights uh, sponsor. A lot of great things happen here. It's an exciting day for the league. Hola, ¿qué tal, amigos de Foco Deportivo? Estamos afuera de Vista Play. Who's going to win today? Who's going to win today? Uh, uh, Unfortunately, Mexico, I think, but, 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 we'll give him a game. The only empate, only empate, the day only, entre la selección de México, la selección de Canadá. Aquí está mucho aficionado. Who's gonna win today? Who's gonna win today? No, no, wait, 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 wait. Who's gonna win today? Who's gonna win today? Huh? Oh, Canada, I hope. Aficionado de Canadá dice que va a ganar hoy. Who's gonna win? Quién gana hoy? It's gonna be a three-one win for Team Canada today. Three-one, Team Canada. Hola, amigos de Foque Deportivo. Estamos con Blas Pérez. Blas, ¿o no de partido? No, partido para nosotros malo, el perder así de esa manera y sabiendo que tenemos un gran equipo, eh, en dos oportunidades llegan y nos marcan dos goles y eso es preocupante. ¿Quién gana hoy? ¿Quién gana hoy? ¡México! ¡México! ¡Puro Jalisco! ¡Arriba la Chivas! 4-0. De Chucky. ¿De qué parte vienen? De Logan, Utah. The United States men national team hosted the annual January camp at the Stubble Center. The purpose of the camp is to train for a couple of weeks. The U.S. team will play friendlies against different international teams. Head coach Bruce Arena picked 32 American players from Major League Soccer. One of the players on the national team is Sebastian Leggett from the LA Galaxy. Leggett is 24. He is an attacking midfielder. He is excited to be part of the team. No, it's been it's been fantastic. Uh, I've been really enjoying it. It's been a, you know it's been a tough almost two and a half weeks, but I've enjoyed every minute of it. It's been good. The United States men's national team is getting ready for the two crucial games in March against the national team of Honduras and Panama. If the U.S. doesn't win these two games, they will not make it to the FIFA World Cup in Russia. The United States has a lot of pressure after losing the first two games of the final qualification round against Mexico and Costa Rica. Sasha Kleinstein is another attacking midfielder who plays for the New York Red Bulls. He is confident about next month games. When we bring our European players in uh, for the game against Honduras, we know it's a very big game, but I think mentality-wise, uh, the, the feeling of the group this past three weeks has been top-notch.
Many fans are excited to see what Bruce Arena has to offer as a new coach. Arena comes to replace Jurgen Klinsmann, who got fired last year. Arena is confident these friendlies will help build a team chemistry for the FIFA World Cup qualifiers. These games are important, uh, especially for our domestic players. But uh, you know, the games that are going to count are the ones in March. That's where you you know you, you look at me and you get really critical. The U.S. tied Serbia last week and beat Jamaica on Friday. The team will regroup until mid-March. The United States needs to earn some points to make it to the World Cup next summer. In Northridge, Michael Ramirez, Valley V News. Hola amigos de Fuck Deportivo, estamos con dos modelos, Rachel y Emily. Rachel, what do you think about this big fight? Well, it's going to be a really good fight. They both have fought twice before, both winning and losing each of them one time. I think that they both have grown a lot. Cooking is a problem for many college students, but not for season student, Hugo Brambilla. The 20-year-old computer information technology major learned to cook in high school. He says eating out is costly. Uh, you know, spending a lot of money, like uh, if you buy lunch, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you buy it, uh, you know, like a McDonald's or anything like that, not the McDonald's, but anywhere else, it adds up pretty quickly. You could be spending almost $30, more than $30 a day. Um, which a ends up adding up quite a bit during throughout the week, throughout the month, you know, throughout the year. It, ends, it adds up to quite a bit of money. Season student Amanda Valadez also likes to cook, like this Mexican dish, Cocktail Camarón. She thinks she knows why most college students don't cook. Um, I think it has to do a lot with laziness because I don't think you need your parents to teach you how to learn how to cook because you could go on like a lot of websites, you could go on YouTube, like you could type in whatever it is that you want to learn how to make, like you could type in like how to make tacos and they're going to show you step by step of the whole process. Oh, I appreciate it, man. But most college students we talk to prefer Thank fast food to cooking themselves. Honestly, since I'm always on the go and I'm never home, and I don't have time in between classes, fast food is the most convenient way for me. I don't consider myself lazy, but thanks to my uh, busy work schedule, Monday through Friday, I tend to eat out a lot. And because of that, I just don't have enough time to cook. One of the reasons why I do eat fast food is because it's the convenience. Um, I'm always at school, either by you know working or doing projects or homework or whatever. And so I'm not at home all the time. Um, I prefer cooking because I know how to cook, so I'd rather cook than go eat fast food. Um, and then if I go eat fast food, I could get like gain weight, and I don't want to do that. So I'd just rather cook for myself. Hugo Mabila says, cooking not only saves you money, but it's fun, and can lead you to a lifetime of experimentation. My mom particularly like, did teach me how to cook, you know, just the basics, you know, rice, chicken, uh, meat, uh, beans, and whatnot. Just like the basics of how to know how to cook, and then kind of just experiment here and there. Most college students find fast food much quicker to eat. In Northridge, Michael Ramirez, Valley V News.